are few things in this world cuter than kitties. Mm. Unfortunately, nothing compares to this stank of kitty litter. True, so today we're testing three viewer submitted hacks for getting rid of foul kitty litter odor. Mm. It's an adorably cute hack mail. We're gonna prep three different litter boxes and stinkify them with substitute urine. What kind of urine is this, Kev? Musky old deer piss. And then we're gonna let them sit for about five minutes. Whichever does the best at reducing the odor gets our certified pack seal of approval. We need a control, obviously. So that will be litter box number one. We'll spray some urine in there and then see how it compares to our hack boxes. Oh! Oh, okay. It hit mommy in the nostrils. It's gonna get you. Oh, the f yep. Mm, just like the rhythm. It's gonna get me. Our first hack comes to us from Olivia from South Haven, Michigan. Everyone knows baking soda soaks up odors, but my daughter had the idea to mix it with cinnamon and sprinkle that on top of our cat's litter. It smells almost like cookies. Little baking soda, little ground cinnamon. It just smells. This reminds me of Grandma's butterscotch cookies. It's missing an ingredient, though. Oh, yeah. Just Kick it up a notch. Mm. Time to lid was a little rough on that one, Brooke. I'm sorry, I'm getting to, I'm getting to flow down. I'll be damned. No, come on. Yeah, no, go ahead. It reminds me of like Thanksgiving and... Okay, there's something seasonal just... about it, but I wouldn't go quite that far. Between the baking soda and the actual kitty litter, the scent's pretty gone. Hack number two comes from Angela in Coral Gables, Florida. I read somewhere that loose green tea will absorb smells. So I started drying out my used tea leaves and mixing them in with the litter. Green tea's here. Is it a gunpowder, an oolong, matcha? Yeah. And matcha has toasted brown rice in it. It's yummy. Well, might you do me a favor and spray some deer urine on this kitty litter? Oh, go, go. I don't want to breathe. Oh, I'm, what? You're like a gazelle at a watering hole. Oh, it's not as good as the... Yeah, hmm. but it's not that... It's still there. It's Maybe. not terrible, but it's... I think I'm just growing accustomed to the smell, yeah. which is what cat owners do. Our third hat comes from Justin in Peoria, Illinois. When it comes to bad smells, nothing beats airing it out. That's why I placed a clip-on fan on the edge of my cat's box so it'll be someone else's problem. I know he said he waits till his cat is done, but... Ah. Oh, I caught a little tail you in You got a little it. bit? A little yeah. bit? Okay, I'm gonna shut this off and cover it up. I don't really think this is a hack. Yeah, this isn't eliminating odors, it's just spreading it around. All right. Green tea. It did a pretty good job covering it up, mm -hmm. but I don't like particularly like what I smell. It smells like tea that's gone bad. So I think we know. Yes, compared to the control, there's no doubt here. Congratulations to Olivia from South Haven, Michigan. Her daughter, her cinnamon and baking soda, they all get our hack seal, seal of, of approval. approval. Oh, I am just sort of in the mood for a snickerdoodle and a pumpkin oh. latte right now. Oh, I could go for a tall, chilled glass of deer urine.